Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. So today is the 27th of March, and I'm about to go to the farmer's market with Griffin, and it's like super gross outside and humid, but I'm going to walk Ella with us. She's so excited, as you can tell. Also, this video is sponsored by Cricut, so I'm so excited to be showing you all later in today's video how I use Cricut and design space on my computer to make some things um, and just tell you all about how I use it and how to use it, what it, you can do with it, and just sort of give y'all the rundown of Cricut and what you can make with it. And I'm really excited for that because I know y'all saw um, what I made back in December for my mom um, whenever I worked with Cricut last. And I'm just gonna be kind of giving y'all insight into what I'm making next and that kind of thing. So stay tuned for that. And I was just gonna show y'all my outfit really quick. I don't have like many clothes clean, so my outfit's kind of like random, but I just have on a Lulu Align tank and um, these black TNA Aritzia biker shorts, um, the Atmosphere 7 inch ones, they're like the best biker shorts ever. And then I don't know where this is from, it's not like a flannel material, it's just kind of like a really oversized denim thing. I think it's from Misguided like two years ago, but I'm not sure. Um, and then I have this little bag of this mesh tote from Dandy Babes, which is like an online shop. Um, and I just thought it was so cute for spring and summer. and. It's great for things like going to the fresh market and just like throwing in. Cause I don't get like a ton when I go, but it'll be good. I might actually grab one of my bigger reusable totes, but I really like this one. And I also just like want to get a picture with it. Cause that'd be cute for the spring feed on Insta. I'm so grateful to have had like so many sponsorships and everything lately, but I have to like keep up with having good filler pictures, like and things to go in between the sponsorship. Normally I don't go out of my way to get Instagram content. I'm like not an influencer in terms of that because I just only take pictures whenever there's opportunities to take them usually. So lately I've been having to like go out of my way to get more pictures um, and like think like, okay, what am I going to do today? Is there a way I can get a picture for my feed and everything? Good morning. <laughs> I look so tired. I look like dust. Um, <laughs> All right, it was a joke. Look how high the river is. It's kind of starting to sprinkle and we're under a flood warning until tomorrow morning. Okay, all I got from the farmer's market was some fresh eggs and some local honey, um, which didn't need both of them, so that's good that I was able to get both. I was hoping to get some, like a fresh loaf of sourdough, but I have not seen the bread person there in a long time, and I don't know if it's because I'm going at like 9 30, 10 o'clock. Ella is exhausted now, but everyone was just like literally obsessed with her. They were all would like shop and just be like, oh my gosh. Her stomach. But I got a, did y'all just hear my knees pop? Um, I got a really good <laughs> cold brew from Joyful Java, which is just like a coffee food truck that we have like on campus. And then they also go to the um, farmer's market and it's so good. This is the best cold brew I've had. And I don't know how long, um, like better than buying it at the store too. Cause honestly I get sick of the store bought cold brew. I don't know if anyone else does. I feel like nobody else does, but like once I have like two in one week, I'm just like, I want my Nespresso coffee <laughs> or something else. But I just got a cold brew with almond milk and caramel and going to go to the grocery store here in a bit, but I need to like make sure I have my dinners planned out for the week. Quick snack before the store. I don't want to go in hungry. So I'm just eating this strawberry Greek yogurt with purely Elizabeth vanilla. I changed into a t-shirt but I have everything else on still just because it is way too hot to be wearing um that long sleeve <laughs> denim pullover I it felt like it was fine earlier now it's just really hot and humid outside so leaving the light on if you come back around Okay guys, grocery haul time. I did a big trip to Publix last week so I really didn't have to get too much this week. Um this is pretty much covering like all of our breakfast, lunch, dinner for up until this time next week, up until next Saturday, um, except for two dinners. I have like stuff for five or six dinners this week, but I'll probably only do five since I have my night class. You guys know how that goes. Um, I just got two packs of jasmine rice, um, baby potatoes, taco seasoning. I've never seen this before at Target, but I literally 
will do anything for rosemary olive oil bread, um, especially focaccia. Light roast stoke, this salsa verde, they didn't have like the normal guacatillo salsa I get or my other backup salsa, so I had to get my third option. I got some sourdough. These blueberry bagels are for Griffin. Um, Multigrain scoops. I haven't tried this almond milk and oat milk hazelnut latte creamer, and I thought we'd try something new this week. Um, Italian style to use. Sliced strawberries, mango chunks, avocado toast salad kit. Green beans. Um, I did run in the Publix because I realized I forgot pineapple for when we make pizzas like on naan and stuff. And I also realized I didn't have um, this for making taco salad this week. So um, tomato trinity from Publix, pineapple tibbets from Publix, um, matchstick carrots, frozen corn, light Cool Whip, so good on fruit or um, literally anything. I will literally eat a spoonful of it if I feel like it. Like it's just so good. Um, the cinnamon roll butter oats. I don't eat these like all the time, but I like having them on hand because there's some days where I just like, I'm still hungry after I eat breakfast and that's just like usually my go-to. Non um, black refried beans. I'm gonna do this instead of um, just regular whole black beans in our taco salad. I feel like it might be just something different and good to do to switch it up. Dark chocolate chips, this bourbon apple chicken sausage, shredded lettuce, romaine, um, and I got these, I get them every now and then. They're so, so good. I'm probably gonna eat one here in a little bit. And then like non, I don't know why we have these out. Non-grocery things, Griff and I both needed deodorant, both needed toothpaste, Colgate Optic White Advance. I needed a, a new remote for my car key. Um, this stuff, you guys, is so good. I forgot I had it and I pulled it out from under my sink the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, why is this under my sink? Like. It's the Aussie Miracle Curls Curl Refresher. It's the best thing to use like for your curls on like second day, third day, because you spray it and it's kind of like a holding gel. And it will make some of your hair a little bit crunchy if you like accidentally do too much. But if you do like just the right amount, it's the best way to like bring your curls back to looking like day one almost. And then this is for Griffin. He needed more shampoo and we're gonna try this out for his scalp. Yeah, like my hair, I know it looks crazy right now just because it's um, I did walk like in super humid weather for about 40 minutes this morning and this is day three for me so I used a little bit of it yesterday so I just bought another bottle since the spritzing part of it is broken and I love it so much but it you can tell like my hair normally does not look like this on day three it's normally the curls have like lost all their life so love that just held up three fingers instead of a peace sign cute but I'm gonna put all this up and then on the to-do list today I really just want to work on this Excel project um, and I really don't have a lot of homework this weekend. My online class, the way it works, that's started this week from my um, one of my last vlogs or I don't know which one's going to go up first. Online class through Lone Star College started on this past Wednesday and the structure of the class, you can literally work ahead and like finish all of it if you want to, except for the tests, the two tests I think. So I already finished my assignments that are due tomorrow, but I'm just gonna keep like anytime I have free time I'm just gonna try to like work through stuff um, And then I need to plan my podcast and I'd like to go ahead and record it if possible So that's like the big two things and then maybe edit a video Okay, everyone so now for a brief intermission to talk about Cricut the sponsor of today's video like I already mentioned to you all I love working with Cricut and I love my Cricut maker so much it allows me to do so many things myself that I would normally be like either buying elsewhere or doing for other people in my life. Um, you all saw back in December whenever I first got my Cricut, my first project, I just started things off easy and I just made a clipboard for my mom with a quote on the back because um, she is a teacher and she absolutely loved it and it was super simple to make and really easy to just set up my Cricut machine to do the actual project itself and just get everything up and running and that's what i really want to emphasize is that you can do so much with it and it's really all in your hands i like love organization type of stuff and i am going to be helping my mom make some organization type of things for her classroom at school whenever i go home for a brief um, amount of time in the summer so i'm really excited to be showing you all that whenever that comes around i'll really just be like you know things like making labels for stuff um doing things for her kids like with name tags on desks that kind of thing but then i also really like using the machine for other things um making bandanas for my dog that's something i really want to try and dabble into and 
one of my friends really wants a bandana that says Roll Tide on it for her dog for her graduation pictures here in a few weeks. And I told her, I was like, you know what? I can make it with my Cricut. Personally, I have the Cricut Maker. It's the ultimate smart cutting machine that can truly do so many different types of projects. It can accurately cut over 300 types of materials, which I can't even think of like 10 materials off the top of my head right now. <laughs> it can do base wood, adhesive foil, birch, vinyl, burlap, canvas, carbon fiber, any kind of like paper, like a printable sticker paper, um, construction paper, cardstock, all that kind of stuff. And then all kinds of different materials and different categories that you can work with with your Cricut Maker. You can cut, draw, score, deboss, engrave, perforate, all kinds of different materials and do it all with one machine. And the thing is, is once you get your Cricut, it's always going to be able to expand. So it's not like you buy it once and you can only do so many things with it. Cricut is constantly working on different materials that your machines can work with. So they're releasing new things that you'll be able to utilize all the time and basically just expanding the suite of tools for the Cricut maker so that you are getting value added back constantly once you get your Cricut. I love using Design Space where you can sort of lay out your designs and that's where you make everything from. And I'll do an overlay here of making the bandana for my friend's dog um, for her graduation pictures. And they're just, just kind of showing you all like how I lay out my design space and design space is available on both desktop and mobile so you can really access it from anywhere which is really awesome but i'm really excited to be showing you all how i use my cricut maker and the different projects that i create with it in the next coming months but i really just wanted to spend today telling you about the different materials it uses how you can constantly get value added back the different types of things you can make and sort of just give you that base knowledge of what the Cricut Maker even is so that you guys can get an idea of it as I do projects in the coming months and show those to you all. So thank you again so much to Cricut for sponsoring this video and I will leave my Cricut Maker link down below and Cricut's website if you want to check it out. Ooh, I'm holding on until forever I will fight But you drift away Hold tight I can save you from this deep black water I don't know if I've been recording or not um, my camera drives me crazy sometimes, but I'm eating this avocado toast salad kit and um, one of these little balance breaks. I just bought both of these at the store, but um, I thought I'd just like start here and as I eat, um, talk to you guys. I feel like I don't really like get too deep about anything on my channel anymore. Um, I just, I kind of, that's like what my podcast is for and I don't talk about me on my podcast really at all, but like I give a lot more like updates that's where the updates typically go first lately i've just been going through like this identity crisis almost I feel like i'm in a big phase of just like change right now and i don't even know i guess it's literally just because i'm about to be out of college and it's just like very slowly hitting me with that there's been a lot of like shifts in how i feel about a lot of things um honestly like my interests and my hobbies are a lot different i like spending time outside a lot more than i used to going to the gym is my favorite thing ever um, I actually literally hate YouTube, uh, which is like so crazy to say because I used to watch YouTube videos every day. I, I have no like desire. I mean, occasionally I'll put them on as background noise, but I just like find myself getting no value. I just feel like I am over consuming content between social media and YouTube. And when I say I hate YouTube, I don't hate making videos. I love editing and making videos still, however I will say I do feel like I'm in a rut right now just like as far as creating the content goes just because I'm limited with what I can do and I'm just getting sick of college content and I'm ready to move to like the next phase of life but at the same time I'm trying to like really be in the moment and enjoy where I'm at right now instead of just like rushing to the next phase of life because every time I've ever been like oh I can't wait to graduate or I can't wait to do this or that I always regret not being more present I talked a little bit about like the whole overconsumption thing on social media or on my podcast I feel like the amount of content we consume it sets us up for losing sight of like ourselves and who we are because we are consuming so much from other people that our identity becomes rooted in what we're consuming if that makes sense and that's scary to me and I feel like that's what's happened to me over the last year especially just with being home so much more that lends to being on my phone more, watching YouTube more, except for like the last few months. And I just really feel like I lost my identity and I'm like, I'm struggling with this whole like, okay, things are about to change. Like, I'm realizing I actually like to keep a lot of my life private at this point. Like I share like big things with you guys and everything, but there is so much value in keeping things private. And even little things just like with working on stuff and making progress with things, instead of sharing every single step of the way just like 
work hard in like silence and like you know i don't know i just prefer that and as i get older you know i used to think like yeah i want to vlog my family the way the internet is honestly hell no i'm not doing that and when i say that i'm not saying that i'm hiding things from you all it's just things that i maybe used to be like super like easy going with i as i get older i'm just getting older honestly that's the point I'm getting older, my values and like what I value, how I like to spend my time, what I like to share, all that has changed a lot. And I may feel completely different in six months, but like right now, I just don't like social media and YouTube and just the way influencer culture is. And the other thing I'm trying to say is I just feel so lost right now and so out of it. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, you know, I was talking to Griffin about it yesterday and I was just like, I just feel really sad and almost just detached from things that used to bring me a lot of joy. And it's scary and sad and hard to like kind of process because I think I put too much of my identity and a lot of what I do. And as a result, um, when those things no longer really bring me the same feelings it makes things hard because it's stuff that i made my like into myself and i made them my identity when they shouldn't have been and now that they don't provide me those same feelings i feel lost as hell and i'm just like what's going on i think i lost sight of myself from feeling the need to fit a mold for youtube for so long i started youtube you know like and through the over the years i've like created this identity on youtube and i think feeling the pressure to fit in that mold has just broken me a little bit and it's made me feel lost because i am out here and what the identity i created my channel is this circle right here and i'm out here i'm like breaking out of it and i'm wanting to do this over here but i feel like everything is still stuck right here because i'm still physically in this space of college content and i just feel like i lost myself to the point of like style to the point of what i value to the point of how i literally spend my time because of overconsumption and because of trying to fit a mold that i don't fit in any longer that's my ted talk thanks for coming i feel like i just talked about three different problems in no order at all so if that was really confusing i just absolutely did a brain dump on you all i should probably journal everything's good and i think that the sadness is just like from not feeling myself because when i don't feel like centered and when i don't feel attached like at my core to who i am it makes me feel really sad um because i am such a big like identity and like know yourself type of person and when i feel like i don't even know who i am it makes me sad Torrential downpour for like two and a half minutes and it's already done. <laughs> Planning this podcast is taking a really long time because I actually am doing like my podcast episode on losing yourself and just sort of like what triggers losing yourself, like how it happens and like what, why I personally feel lost or why I believe I feel lost and like what I'm doing to change it. If you want to hear more into that, um, definitely listen to it. Gen Z Girl Podcast. It'll be out on Monday, um, March 29th. For anyone wondering but i'm trying to like wrap up planning it right now but it's taking a long time and i'll probably record it i don't know if i'll record it tomorrow or tonight i forgot i had gotten an ulta order in the mail yesterday so i wanted to just show you all um most of this stuff is restocks but there's a few new things so i just wanted to show you all and i totally forgot i had a gift card left over like 70 dollars of a gift card left over from christmas so i was like heck yeah i <laughs> love when you just remember that um but i got the high adherence silicone primer from the ordinary i've been waiting on this to come in stock on ulta for so long and i was so thankful that when i went on to place this order that it was in stock it's basically a blurring surface smoother and primer for like before makeup and uh it's like so much cheaper than like professional which is like what i use right now for blurring and i really am hoping that this is good i've heard great things about it though i got more of the niacinamide and hyaluronic acid this is like a fourth or fifth repurchase um two part vital parts of my skincare routine for morning and night 
I got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee, I think. Did like a makeup, a Zoom class last Sunday with Makeup XKA on Instagram. She does them every now and then. They're like $20 and you get like two hours of just like makeup lessons, like for application and technique, and then also just like learning how to do like new looks. And she like swears by like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I just feel like mine are like the wrong shades and I was I got a tester of the vanilla shade and it was like definitely too light for me but I really liked the concealer itself. Setting powder and I wanted to try something new. Um, I've never tried the Laura Mercier powder which is crazy because I feel like that's every, what everybody uses. This is a new product though I think and it's beautiful. It's the Hourglass Veil setting powder and it had incredible reviews. It's in this beautiful packaging. People said it lasted forever and I'm really excited to try it um, because of the really good reviews and also because I use the Hourglass like ambient lighting powder as like a finish all over my face and I swear when I don't use it my makeup looks completely different. So I really think I'm going to like this a lot. And then this is actually not from Ulta. This is PR um, from Paula's Choice. A really good like makeup removing type of face wash. So I'm super excited to try this because I love their brand. So thank you to Paula's Choice for sending me this. And I also got another Real Technique sponge. Um, and then I got these lashes because I am taking graduation pictures. Griff and I are doing like a duo session because it's like just cheaper to do it that way. And he didn't get any last year. So, and I didn't like mine like at all. I actually hated the way I looked at all of mine last year. So um, we're just splitting the cost of a duo session. And really good reviews on the website. And I might use my classic that like I always use, which is the kiss royal silk lashes and they're like super dramatic and like just look better in pictures to me i don't know what these are a10 the better than sex foaming falls lashes i thought they had a different name than that but i'll leave them linked down below because i'll be able to get the link but that's everything from ulta y'all know i love makeup always have always will i don't know why everything on my camera is literally so red but here's dinner currently working on making a dessert right now. I remembered I had the stuff to make this and I needed to eat these raspberries before they went bad because I got them last weekend. Um, basically just raspberry filled dark chocolate cups from Rebecca Lee Help on Instagram. I've made them like, it's probably like my fifth time making these now. You literally just mash up raspberries and heat them over low heat with like a dash of maple syrup, a tablespoon of coconut oil and about a bag of dark chocolate chips and you like melt that in intervals and I do like three 30 second intervals I think and then you let the bottom layer of the chocolate freeze in cupcake liners um, and then you add the raspberry filling and then the chocolate on top and then freeze the rest and it freezes pretty quick so I pour myself a bottle of this bluefin from Trader Joe's it's just Moscato um, it's really good it's like a five dollar bottle Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gen Z Girl podcast. My name is Finish recording, got my little dark chocolate raspberry cup, and Griff and I have been watching what is it called? The flight attendant. The flight attendant. And we started it this week and we're almost done with season one. I think we have two episodes left. Um I don't know what time it is, but I finished recording my podcast. Oh, it's ten o'clock. And we're gonna watch um either the last two episodes or the last episode. Griff has two episodes, but we gotta get up early and go to the gym. What? I'll be fine the gym. Okay. Um, it's you we have to worry about. <laughs> I know. I, I, like, have to get, like, seven and a half, eight hours of sleep where I just, like, don't function. So when we stay up late, like, watching stuff on the weekends, I, it's harder for me to get up in the morning and go to the gym, like, at our normal time, but I'll be fine. It's been, like, a really good, like, active rest day for me, though, because we had that walk earlier. We had, did, like, a mile and a half. Um... Because I've literally almost closed all my rings and I didn't even like, do an actual legitimate workout today. So I love active rest days like this because they're so like, ugh, just like recharging whenever you normally work out a lot at the gym. So just like still know like you're, you know, doing good things for your body and your non-traditional way. But anyways, yeah, we've been watching The Flight Attendant and it was like slow at first and we weren't crazy about it, but... There's only 10 episodes, so of course it got, like, really good at, like, episode 6 or 7. <laughs> so, but, I mean, it's worth watching, I would say. But, because I really don't, like, y'all know I don't watch, like, a ton of shows or anything. I just have, like, my select few. Um, but this one is one that I've, like, taken the time to oh. watch. Ella over here, she's been so tired all day after her walk. Hey. Ella's wanting a belly rub. 
Um, and I had told Griff on Valentine's Day I would give him like a what facial? I don't know. Like a we I don't never know. Never got around to it. Yeah, it's like a little spa night, like to treat him because I saw like this thing on TikTok where this girl is like, men deserve facials or whatever too, and I was like that'd be such a good idea to like just go for Valentine's Day, but we never got around to it and. We've been putting it off for forever, so finally did it after finishing the flight attendant, which was so good, highly recommend. I started out with, um, what did I do first? Oh, I did an yeah, ice roller first. Closure. Ice roller first. And then I did, I spread aloe on his face and did gua sha on his like um, face and the base of the neck area. And um, then he rinsed the aloe off and then I put, the cup of coffee face mask on him for 15 minutes and then he washed it off and then I got like a hot towel and like let it sit on his face like open up his pores and then I did um the oh I plucked his eyebrows Ella, Ella. she's smiling she's so weird are you smiling give me a high five come here oh yeah this is so cute guys <laughs> <laughs>